there. Gosh, that's a tank. Wow. Let's pull them out to deep water at the tank. How's it going, guys? If, you, uh, if you're judging by the title of the video, this is a little backstory. This was taken a Sunday a few weeks ago. The following Tuesday, Texas state government shut down all access to the state parks. If you can get to a lake via a public access point, you're good. This lake in particular, you only get in through the state park access, so it's effectively shut off for fishing. Now it's April 19th today, tomorrow's the 20th, so they're opening them back up under some conditions. Like if you're a group of five or more, you have to wear a face mask, but it's getting back to normal. But uh, overall, like I've been getting slammed at the hospital. Uh, we haven't seen any like the double pneumonia coronavirus, like post coronavirus aftercare or none of those. We haven't had any anyone confirmed positive. We have to get temperature te checks each before, before and after shifts, so. It's pretty kind of nuts. it's been kind of nuts, but it hasn't been as bad as like what they projected it to be. Thankfully, Texas were kind of spread out over like a pretty vast area versus like like New York's been getting slammed. But hopefully, everything goes keeps getting a little bit better up there. But if you want to follow along with these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and punch that uh, notification bell. Stick around and see how you like the video. Well. You guessed it. We're back at the same lake we were at again. I had to come back home to get pick up my uh, repair parts for my drive. So, and this is the best lake that's somewhat clement. It's still like an hour, an hour and some change away from home, but all the other lakes are kind of flooded out. So, this lake's water looks like it's cleaned up a lot since I was last here. About to lose my parking pole. The last time I came here was when. After we got like, I don't know, like two, three inches of rain and it muddied that water up to hell. Water clarity is cleaned up very nicely. So hopefully we can actually sight fish better today and or just get get some fish to bite. Cause, Cause last week when it was, actually it was two weeks ago now. Yeah, two weeks ago in the water we got really, really dirty. These fish were not wanting to bite at all. Grass has grown up quite a bit since the last time I've been here. In like two weeks time this whole this whole little bay here is full of grass now. It was pretty barren. There's still some decent bass in here this but maybe just real spooky. Uh, oh god. Oh. That's a good one. Just pause a little bit and the rod started running away. Well, that move was a good idea. I stayed in that first spot for like 20 minutes, didn't get a whiff. Literally, like, second cast over here got smoked by this, you know, giant, but pretty good one. Damn, he's pretty long. Good call to move. Let's say 19 and a quarter. A little bit longer than I thought he would be. Yeah, oh yeah, she's on bed. She's bleeding like hell. No, oh, she's actually a 20 or 19 three quarter. A bad little fish. Go back to your bed. Center back in our direction. Oh, that's why. I don't know why they're here. Like gravel bottom all the way through here. Right along these little emergent reeds. <sighs> One left for falcon craw. Where I'm gonna put her out at. These you gotta, at least for the six cents ones, you gotta put it pretty far down. And just twist her on. 
Rage Menace is pretty easy. It's not like that you're putting like paddle tails on. You gotta like <laughs> really bring them up and around. I like to rip it just a hair so it'll line up straight. So that's all it is. See when. Come to the old discharge. No bad thing in this creek. There's like four or five boats. So I'm probably about to turn around. They've already been beating everything up. About to turn around and come back later. There. I did not like that methylate worm. Come here. Damn, you weren't coming up there, were you? Don't you fish. Back to bed. I had to stay way far off on that one. I was push pulling around so I saw him skirt away and there's two or three other ones but they're real skittish so you gotta make long casts at them. You can't like just be right over them and cast to them. Pretty good already. I see a bass boat was just in here for like 20 minutes and they didn't catch a thing so. Got this chunk. Uh, yep. Bailey's getting kind of red. Another one that's spawning up in the shallows. Ran me all through these reeds in that spinning rod. I just kept pressure on her. She just pulled herself out. Let's see what she is. She's probably about 20. Twenty on the dot. About a three pounder. Good to go. You can get some more. All I'm throwing is a... This is a little finesse. I can't remember what the hell this hook's called, but... On the bank, they could be off just a little bit. Just trying to... Trying to cast to likely areas, and if they want to come hit, they'll come hit. If not, I'm not going to waste too many casts. Seems like usually what I do, I'll... Do one cast up on the scissors bed right there. Looks pretty fresh, just no bass on it. I'll make one on shore, don't get bit, I'll cast out a little bit. You don't want to get too close and then spook everything off. Like there was a bed right here. Gosh, that's a tank. Wow. Let's pull them out to deeper water at the tank. Jump again. Just trying to run me in the grass. Come here. Just play her out. Ah, she's pulling a clump of grass with her. Yes. Oh god. That's a freaking tank. Oh man, I think we got something figured out. It's my third, almost my third 20 inch right at 19 three quarter, but this will be like a 22 probably. Ah, damn it, she's bleeding bad. Damn it.
another one of those hooks on because I snapped that one. It's like a little Nico. It's like a like a one aught little Nico hook. God, they always look they always look bigger than they are. I thought it was gonna be like a six or a seven. All right, back to it. Another good one. No, oh, you turn away. You're not running into the reeds. Not a giant one, but a good one. <sighs> All hard fighting fish. Give me about another 18 or so. I'm here. You're just about done. Nope, oh, she's not. She's not. Oh gosh. Keep running, keep running. And I go out to deep water again. Another good one. Get up there. Right in the roof of the mouth. Another chunk, not a giant. I'm not even gonna bother weighing her, she's not that big. Measure, let her go. Trying to break a hundred today, so we're on a good pretty good track of this. It's gonna be another 20 incher. 19. Oh little little baby. Like a 19 incher. It's a baby. Let her go. I got another one on this one big. Smaller guy. They're not that small, he's chunky. Seen a couple more fish on beds. Finally. Hit her in the back. Son of a biscuit. That was dumb. Jesus. Uh. 
I forgot I had it locked down. I had to pull pull this out of a read earlier. Just had my drag locked down. I'm like, why why am I not hearing my drag? Little guy. I had to switch over to my color. Eh. Little chunky guy. Just keep tension on him. Oh, he's eh, he got some nice spots in this one. Change, just change color. They are not hitting that methylate no more. I think I'm sitting about 95 inches or so. I know best five. Or something like that. And he is a pretty, pretty fish. He's like a 16 and a... 16 and a half. We'll let it grow. Two and a couple casts. God. Little guy, but he's fighting hard. Come on, get out of that grass. Come on, you're not that big. Come on, quit acting big. You gotta keep moving. Fish on a bit under the dock. All right, recap. These three baits did the primary amount of my damage. Rage Menace on a swim, this color Rage Menace on a swim jig, caught a few small ones. White Rage Menace caught like I think a 819 or something like that. And these two trick worms caught the majority of my fish. It was a methylate and a bullfrog color, just on a plain Jane, no weight, wacky rig. Bite was really weird, went about an hour without a bite in the morning. Ton of fish spawning on beds, cruising. Even if you could find fish on beds, a lot of them were just really skittish and spooky. There'd already been there already been a lot of boats on the lake at that point. Quite a few on a Sunday, so. But my goal, my plan was just to push pull around the shallow areas until I saw some beds. If I saw some bedding fish, I'd target them and or if they're real spooky, I would at least know where they are and just come back and make a long cast at them. Because I know a lot of these times when you try and sight, uh, sight fish these fish, they won't hit immediately and you actually have to interact with them. But if they won't, if you can't get close enough to watch them interact, you could be wasting your time on a fish. So, that worked a couple times, just long cast at where I knew a bed was that caught them. A lot of them just came to just casting pretty close to the reeds. Uh, I would push pull along. Once I start seeing beds and gravelly spots, I'd start just making blind casts at the reeds. Because I, I knew there would eventually be a fish up in there. Because then uh, we'd gotten a, r a bunch of rain lately, so reeds were flooded way up, way up towards the bank. You couldn't get to so. Too, there's too many, too many spots to flip blindly. So I was just hoping somewhere still on the outside edges. That caught my majority of my fish that way. And my biggest was at four nine eight wacky rig. He pulled me around the freaking lake, but it was overall a pretty good day of fishing. So. Quarantine it's kind of making it weird, so I'm hoping to make it out to Whitney at some point to do the next episode of the Lone Star Kayak Report, but we'll see what the weather is playing. I think Whitney, a lot of the ramps are closed right now, too, so we'll see how that goes. And this is my garage setup. A lot better than hopping over the rails, so if you like what you see, subscribe for more. We'll see you next time.